Hello everyone, RPG Pan here, and welcome to a basically an update on how Minecraft Snapshot worked. So, uh, for Minecraft's April Fools, uh, it actually does have an April Fools Snapshot available, but also has this thing in launcher where there's just a bunch of fire everywhere for absolutely no reason. But there is a actual April Fools update that goes along with this, or I guess not really with this, but it goes along. And while this loads, there's also this button in the bottom right or bottom left, as well as you just basically put out and start fire. All right, there we go. So what the actual update is, it is these voting proposals. So I think there's a way to vote on them, but when you vote on the proposals, what's gonna happen is the entire world is going to change. So if I press V, I can go to here. Set optimization level to super 1000. Well, obviously you gotta go for a vote for that. And uh, over here, do nothing. That, that's an amazing vote. I would like to vote for that item one. Uh, anonymous player skins, sure. Uh, show applied proposals. So now that I voted for these proposals, things start changing uh, in the world, which is pretty heckin' cool. So I'm gonna go through a few of these, wait for them more than like, you know, stack up, and then I will show you some other funky things that are in this update. So really there's like a ton of these. Here's the next one, uh, big head mode that I got. So I'm gonna go, uh, yes, vote for that option. Very good. And the other one was option two to nothing, so I just voted for big head mode. So now, if I go to, uh, do I have to wait a moment here? I probably have to wait a moment for it to activate, uh, for the poll to go away. But yeah, I started voting for Proposal 2, alright. And my head, I think, is potentially slightly bigger. Alright, next one. Players can drop head when exploded by Charged Creeper, but charge, but change the ability of Green Candle to high. Wait, what? Sure, let's go for it. That's the second one I voted for. Big head vote, then I got that one. Alright, alright, alright. And now if I go grab a green candle, I grab a flint and steel. I should be able to just go... Like it has high flammability or something. So, that's how the voting update works. You just get choices of things to update and vote for. Uh, and I think, probably worth a certain amount of time, the applied rules will activate. So if you are waiting for like a proposal to sort of finish, you can actually run a command called vote pending finish, and that's going to actually just make it so these proposals all fully go through. So if I go, uh, I think I actually have another vote to do. Yeah, but I can now just go slash vote proposals and then just kind of confirm them that way. I'll multiply damage, type dry out. Yeah, sure, just accept all. So a few of them get some additional um, types. But eventually, you will get a certain combination of types that allow, you, that allow you to go to the special biome, the special realm even. Like if I type in locate uh, biome, it'll make you go to the moon. Now, it would be really hard for me to get to the moon since I don't have the special thing. I believe you do need something to get the moon update to work. But if we were to go up to the moon and have the right proposal, we could just get to the moon, which is another dimension that was added in the snapshot. I'll see if I can get that. Ah, there it is. Big Moon. Alright, so I'm going Big Moon. I'm going to approve the Big Moon. Alright, didn't work. Great. Alright, that's Big Head Mode right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Ah, there we go. So actually a command called Vote uh, Pending. They put Start and Start a Game Rule. So I can actually quickly, with all these things, go to Big Moon. Be careful what you wish for. Our scientists have warned us about unintended con consequences, but enable other portal. So I do that. Now the portal is going to be enabled if I just do slash vote. Uh, pending, finish, and then I get that star which means all. There we go. So now, I can literally go into the moon. Like straight up, just go straight into the moon. So here we go. It's gonna bring me right to the moon dimension. If I'm mistaken, I think maybe I have to go up a bit. Uh, but when you get far enough away from the earth, you are able to enter the moon. And at around 600 blocks, you get warped into another realm, uh, which is the moon. So I guess I'm gonna be falling for a bit, uh, but once I eventually hit the ground, I'm going to land on the moon. So now you notice in the uh, so up to the left, it's actually something weird. When I'm flying up, it goes, it goes up when I'm going down. It's a bit funky because it doesn't exactly know where I am. But when you hit 700, you hit basically a barrier which teleports you between uh, the Earth and the moon and vice versa. Uh, so now I'm here, uh, right there. But if I go back to 700 here, it's gonna bring it right back. So, it's a bit confusing, but the, I guess 700 is a threshold of which it changes from one place to the other. And depending on what realm you are in, it's a bit confusing. Because you, you can't see the ground for a while since you're in the moon. 
<laughs> but once you get to the moon, you're, you can be in the moon. Oh, and there's the moon. Whoa. That looks insane when I'm falling. It's also a bit of a funky structure over there, which I will go see because it's actually important. And there's a bunch of moon animals and beings here. Like, for instance, these moon cow. Which is actually another pretty cool part of this update. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to go fly over to the structure over here because it's the most important structure in the entire moon. By the way, to leave the moon, it's again 700 uh, blocks above. And right here, go to the moon structure. So, like, just scan that pressure plate real quick. Um, there we go. Now, this thing is funky. And it's gonna do that. Not entirely sure why, but it just does. It's actually a pretty good use of copper, because, I mean, what else are you going to use copper for? Uh, pff, that thing's expanding quickly. Now, I'm not sure if it actually forms anything, but... Oh, wait, yes, it does. It does this. Mixes the structure. There we go. Yeah, it basically makes this weird structure with some funky blocks, like the copper... Spleeves? Spleeves. It has some uh, moon mission resupply crates. Right here, some uh, water, you know, stuff. And this place is pretty cool, pretty nice. And by the way, on the moon, you do have those drowning bubbles because you are limited on oxygen. So, yeah, that is this update. So, with that, I'm going to say, RPG hanging out, have a great day, and or night.